We are interested in full range of human creativity. This project is an experiment uh, about building vaults in the air. How we live in between virtual and real worlds. There can be lots of benefit from merging the two worlds together. With the help of Princeton Institute for International and Regional Studies, we managed to get some uh, fund to support a series of activities that explores the intersection between traditional crafts and how these crafts can be supported and understood by engineers. And so this project is the first of a series of three different crafts that we will be looking at with the help of course of graduate researchers, so PhD students, we have PhD students with us, postdocs, we have postdocs with us, but also uh, undergrad students from both universities. Students are trying to work with these questions. Um, they are using exactly the same technology, but using their mobiles, not the HoloLens, which is more accessible to everyone. And they're building a small structure. They're also learning how to 3D scan this structure and project it in the air. On this project, I've been involved in different uh, steps. I contributed to the form finding design with uh, Rafael Pastrana. Uh, also a construction strategy with uh, Wesa Marasali and El Salvador to make it a smoother process uh, at the end. My involvement in the project has been as the structural engineer of, of the vault behind us and also as uh, responsible for designing the shape that you see behind us. I've been doing all my life making bóvedas. I'm a bóveder, considered now a master artesan. I'm in the Red of Maestros Artesanos of the Construction. Siempre que me llama Wesam ¿no? para proyectos, suelen ser proyectos de utilizando la tecnología o de la construcción tradicional, que es lo que, lo que queremos recuperar, ¿no? la, la construcción tradicional, que no se pierda y además que funcione ¿no? para, para este tipo de técnicas. Tile vaulting is a traditional technique in Spain called bóvedas tabicadas. It uh, existed since um, 12th, uh, even 11th century, um, and it uses nothing but bricks and plaster. What we're trying to do is to mix this traditional craft with augmented reality. We're using a software called TwinBuild, and TwinBuild has been developed to use holograms for construction reasons. Uh, QR codes are uh, the place where you register your model, you start your model, you initiate the hologram by looking at a QR code. Just like when you go to a restaurant, scan a QR code, the menu pops out. We needed some of them to calibrate the project, so we, we put that virtual project in the physical world with high precision. The project combines different technologies to make this happen, vernacular techniques on masonry assembly and patterning, and on the other hand, we combine uh, shape optimization technologies that enable us to achieve a shape like this. Really, this uh, very traditional structural technique happens to be extremely efficient in use of material. That means it's more sustainable. So there's stuff we can learn from the past. Right. We can augment that with, with new technologies to do, to do new, interesting, and important work like this. The future, I believe, will somehow be in this dance between surrendering a certain amount of control to machines in certain areas, maintaining control, and then working together to do things that we couldn't do separately, machines and people.